Thank you, Aziz. I will continue on the same topic, but from different perspective, I will try to focus on extreme event on this side. So uh, it's a joint work with my colleague from Uni Weather, Yong Fu, and it, it will be about the impact of climate change or water risk on agricultural productivity in the Sahel region. What I mean by <coughs> Sahel region is this uh, transition zone between the dry Sahara and this uh, tropical green uh, forest in Africa. It's on, indeed you know, on the border of the MENA region. Uh, in general, I work on the Middle East and North Africa region, but this region is early uh, concerned the Middle East, and I will give some argument why I, I want really to focus on uh, uh, the Sahel. So the Sahel, uh, according to the uh, last records, is really uh, very vulnerable to climate change, and there is a recurrent drought uh, affected the region. And when the uh, drought uh, um, happens in the region, it causes losses in terms of uh, production, in terms of uh, human being, uh, disease, disease uh, displacement, and sometimes conflicts. So uh, the climate change uh, risk is, is, is very important for the region. The second uh, reason uh, to focus on this region is the fact that uh, there is a, a lot of similarity between the country uh, of the region in terms of uh, economic system, in terms of culture, and in terms of uh, climatic uh, conditions. So it makes it really very good uh, case study to see how uh, drought can impact uh, the behavior of farmers and uh, the impact on uh, agricultural productivity in, in general. Uh, the, uh, the last uh, argument is the fact that uh, from a geopolitic, uh, political point of view, uh, this region is very important uh, for, uh, Middle East, uh, for North Africa. It's very important for its stability and it's very important also as a way for uh, the management of uh, the migration flow to Europe. Uh, very recently, the European Parliament uh, published uh, a, a new agenda and a, this new agenda focuses on this island. It, it considered from geopolitical point, point of view, Sahel is really important even for Europe. So this is the main argument that justify why we want really to focus on this region particularly. Okay, so uh, drought is, is, is a common factor uh, in, in the region. That means it's not really, maybe the normal season, it's, uh, it's somewhat unnormal uh, in the region. So it makes it really very good example uh, to see how drought can affect the behavior or the agricultural productivity in, gen in general and the behavior of farmers in uh, particular. Okay, let me g first give you a brief idea about uh, climate in, in, in the Sahel. So, uh, According to the, uh, to the different study, it shows that uh, uh, the, the, the weather in the, or the climate is becoming more drier. And uh, it, it shows that the growing season is shorter in the region, which means that there is low precipita more, less precipitation and higher temperature in the region. The other thing is that uh, the soil, there is a, a high uncertainty about precipitation. That means which make any kind of prediction is completely impossible. And so that uncertainty might affect the behavior of the farmers. And this is which is really interesting for us is to see how farmers really behave uh, uh, against uh, or uh, facing uh, 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 such kind of high uncertainty. Uh, now, what we can say about the future, about the future though, there is no really any uh, consensus. That means, uh, the results are somewhat confusing. We cannot really uh, say anything about how the weather will be in the future for the Sahel. But a very interesting study by uh, HELD and all in 2005 showed that in addition to the fact that there is a lot of lictiation in, 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 in precipitation, it seems that trend is going down and in the future there, is, there will be l less precipitation down which make uh, uh, the situation much more complicated for uh, the uh, Sahel. Now, about the agriculture, how the agriculture is in, in the Sahel, the agriculture is really very underdeveloped. Uh, that means uh, there is no really, there is low use of improved seeds, there is low use of fertilizer, absence of mechanization, so the productivity is really very low in the, in the region. And this is why the main maybe, maybe problem of food security uh, in the region. 
Uh, there is a very interesting study by Mendelssohn which shows that maybe by 2100, uh, some country from, from the region, which is Chad, Niger, will uh, lose all their rain-fed uh, agriculture. Uh, that means it will be a huge problem for the region in terms of uh, feeding their own population. Now, uh, this gives you uh, another idea. Even if uh, the, uh, <coughs> the, the agriculture productivity or the production in Jezreel is uh, very likely will decrease in the future, but production, uh, agriculture is still, uh, or the, the local production or the domestic production is uh, still uh, important for food supply or domestic food supply. It decreased it in the beginning of, of the 16, it, it was about 90% of the total uh, domestic supply. Now it's about uh, 75%, but it is still important. And in the same time, if we see the fluctuation, that means uh, there is a, a lot of variation in the production and the local or the domestic supply uh, varies with the, with the local uh, production. Production, which is that mean this may explain it by the fact that the, the region does not really have enough uh, uh, resources really to smooth uh, the domestic su supply, for example, using uh, importation of, uh, of food. And the, this explains that food security in the region depends on uh, domestic, supply, uh, domestic production. And if the production will decrease in the future, that means we will have, oh, the region will, uh, we will face uh, uh, a food security problem. Okay. Now, what about investment in agriculture in the Sahel? Because it is quite normal, uh, quite clear that uh, uh, the water condition is worsening. So the only way for the region really to get out of this situation or to is to improve agricultural productivity. And uh, that means the region or the farmer of the region needs really uh, need to, to invest in the new technology that can help really to improve agricultural productivity. So our question is about how we give the incentive uh, for the farmers really uh, uh, to, uh, to, to invest more in the agriculture sector in order to improve the productivity or otherwise uh, we, we ask if the risk related or, uh, to, uh, or associated to climate change will affect the behavior in terms of investment in, in new technology to improve the agricultural productivity. What we can see from the current situation is there is a high risk of uh, crop failure. This is uh, related to the fact that there is a, a high fluctuation in uh, precipitation. There is no enough precipitation and uh, there is no enough irrigation, by the way. Uh, there is also uh, a low value of major cereal crops. That means there is a market failure that, uh, uh, that uh, on top of the, the problem of the uh, bad uh, climatic uh, conditions that add to that all the problems. The other thing is that access to market is very limited in, in, in Africa in general and the Sahel uh, in, in particular. And this make somewhat investing in the agricultural production at the farm level uh, may be not really attractive. Uh, so we will not really focus on the, 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 the problem of access to market or the fact that maybe uh, prices are not really, uh, not, don't really give incentive uh, to invest on the production view, but we will focus just on the risk related to climate change and see how the risk uh, uh, associated with climate change will affect the behavior of the uh, farmers. Okay, just let give you me, that's me, uh, just give you an idea about uh, this, um, how the productivity, or that does mean there is still room or scope really to increase productivity. This is an uh, unfarm uh, experiment uh, around in the north of uh, Burkina Faso. And uh, the, the experiment consisted to try to see how we can uh, improve productivity in the Sahel using uh, different kind of strategy, for example, uh, using more uh, uh, irrigation and use fertilizers. So, as you can see, for example, whatever the, the, the season is, or whatever the, the water condition is, is in terms of uh, total rainfall, we can see that, uh, for example, using in, uh, irrigation increased uh, uh, dramatically uh, the, 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 the productivity, and at the same time using fertilizer increased uh, productivity by uh, twofold. And as you can see, if we combine both of them, that the, the, the two technology, we can uh, increase uh, productivity by 12, uh, three times. Uh, 
This means that there is a way to improve productivity in the region using a new technology. The other thing in terms of using uh, the efficiency in using water, it shows that, for example, when we use fertilizer, the using fertilizer might improve the efficiency of water. This is another way to prove that using a new technology can improve productivity in, in the region. So that means uh, the problem is not about the fact that technology can be uh, one option to improve productivity, but maybe the fact that there is uh, uh, motivation uh, the incentive to use uh, this technology is the problem. And we want to figure out how climate risk can really affect uh, that motivation. How we will proceed, so we will ask how uh, the risk related to drought can affect the uh, agricultural productivity. So we will focus on uh, six countries, what we call uh, the core of the site, uh, Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauret Mauritania, Niger and, uh, Niger and Senegal. And we will uh, proceed in the follow following way. First, we uh, refer to the literature to define what we call the drought episodes. So we use the standard precipitation index to identify the different, uh, the different uh, drought episodes during the period uh, 90 to 2000. After that, we will estimate what we call the production losses uh, uh, related to, uh, to drought uh, uh, shock. And it will be defined as the difference between the production in that year, uh, in that year and the production in the nearest normal year in terms of precipitation, of course. And this is what we call the loss. That this can help to control for any other uh, factors that may not really re reflect the reality of, or the impact or the size of the impact of drought shocks. After that, what we try to do is to estimate the distribution probability of that losses. And we use, uh, we call to the uh, general uh, extreme uh, value uh, theory uh, to estimate that distribution. After that, we define our, the risk, what we call drought risk. And the drought risk will be defined by as the uh, crop losses uh, multiplied by the probability that that losses will happen. And the second one, we will estimate what we call the agriculture. We, uh, we will not really, we will focus on the technical efficiency. And so we will use a stochastic frontier model to, 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 to estimate the stochastic front, uh, the technical efficiency. And the last thing is consisted to see what kind of relationship exists between uh, technical efficiency and production uh, uh, and climate risk or weather risk, if you would like. Okay. What is the assumption, what we think as a, a kind of relationship that can exist between risk related to climate or to weather and uh, productivity in general? So we suppose two different, oh, just that? Okay, I will, <laughs> okay, yeah, we, okay, I will push my, but just to say, the idea is to say that we consider that there is a kind of nonlinear relationship between the risk and the uh, uh, technical, uh, pro uh, technical efficiency or the productivity in general. That means it should be a kind of threshold when the risk is too high, at that time the farm may decide to use costly technology to improve its productivity. But when the risk is uh, estimated, or, uh, uh, or this is give an idea, the impression of the farmer, if he considers that the risk is not too high, he may not really be encouraged to use the new technology. So there is a kind of threshold when the risk is supposed too high, at that time they may really uh, consider a new technology in order to smooth his uh, production. So, so this is what we get from uh, the SPI, and as you can see that the drought episodes increased dramatically uh, during the 17 and the 18. Now, in the, uh, in, by the beginning of the 19 and the 2000, the situation is much more better, but in 2012, it seems that we are going back to the, the same situation, that's more drought and more uh, climatic uh, problems. So, and after that we measure what we call the drought damage, the crop losses, and uh, compared to the nearest uh, normal year. And after that we fit to the data, what uh, the distribution probability, what will give me, what we call the, ex uh, the exceeds in probability, which gives you the idea, how the probability that, uh, for example, the loss caused by drought will, uh, let's say, uh, exceed 
a certain value. Okay. This is the technical efficiency and give an idea about how, uh, <coughs> how the productivity or technical efficiency behaves. Okay. Okay, I will. Uh, okay, this is the regression result. This is what we get. The, we regress the efficiency on risk. Precipitation, fertilizer use, consumer price, because we consider that in this side maybe consumer price reflect the price of food. And this gives an idea that when the price of food is really high, this may encourage farmers to invest in, in, in agriculture and this may increase uh, the technology, uh, technical efficiency. So we get this result, we get uh, a negative impact of risk on uh, efficiency. Uh, we get precipitation, of course, increased efficiency, fertilizer and uh, uh, prices. But the most important result is the fact that the more, uh, the more open economy to trade are less affected by, climate uh, by the risk associated to climate change. And the higher is the growth or the higher, uh, that means the macroeconomic con context in, the, in, in one country might affect uh, uh, its vulnerability to the climate risk. And this may explain it but that when the economy is very diversified, when we have more options, uh, this will help the farmer to diversify the risk and so that decrease indeed the, 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 the sensibility or the sensitivity, I'm sorry, to, to the risks related to climate change. And this gives an idea that there is a way really to uh, decrease the impact of risk on the decision to use a new technology in order to improve the productivity is to make the economy is growth or development in general and to make the economy more open. They make the economy more open. This helps the, the economy to weather uh, any uh, the risk related to uh, climate change. So uh, we did other uh, analysis to see if there is any difference between the short run behavior and the long run behavior. And it seems that facing uh, the same level of risk, farmers behave completely differently when it comes to the long run. That's me in the short, uh, okay. In the short run, uh, they may not really tolerate, uh, uh, even if the risk is too low, they may not really tolerate that uh, risk. But at the long run, because they, are de they depend on the agricultural production, when the risk is too high, uh, they are very, they, they are very, uh, li they, very likely they will invest in new technology so that the technical uh, efficiency will, will increase. Uh, so to conclude, I'm sorry for uh, taking more time. So uh, we can say that the soil is quite clear that it's really very vulnerable to climate change. The other thing that uh, the, the, the frequency of drought and the damage caused by drought is increasing over time. Uh, risk related to climate change is, seems to have a, an impact on the behavior of farmers, how it, it, it has an impact on the agricultural produ productivity. And we can show that the better macroeconomic environment, more uh, trade with uh, the internet, uh, more trade may help to uh, smooth uh, the impact of uh, uh, climate change risk on agricultural productivity. Thank you for your attention.